Yeah, I know, Erica, you're being so patient. He was on since I started. Do the flamingo. No. I'm not going to do that. What you see in me is what's inside of you. So if you think I sound hurt, not knowing me, not knowing how I normally am, not knowing what's in my heart, then that means that you are hurt and you're putting that outward onto others. And I'm so sorry that you're hurt. That sucks. Chill safe zone. Yes, I love that. If you don't want to get blocked, then don't don't try to provoke me. Even if you like me, right? That doesn't mean you could disrespect me. I'm glad you like it, George. I think it depends on the person. I like small, um, I like, what is it? I like when people think about me, like consideration. Like that's a, I think the, the biggest form of love is like when you're making decisions, you've thought about how it's gonna impact me and you wanna protect me in the decisions that you're making and you're not being self-focused. You're focused on protecting because that's how I am. So any decision I make, I'm always thinking about my partner. How is this going to impact them? What is this going to do? Like, would they be okay with this? Like, what's going on, right? And knowing them. Um, I think that's the biggest form of flattery. But some people like gifts. I'm not like a gift person. Do I like gifts? Like, if you thought about me and it's sentimental? Yeah. Like, if you were like, oh, I was in, I don't know, Panama City and I saw this weird hat and it reminded me of you. And I would be like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. But if you're just like buying me expensive things so that way I'll shut up, like, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not into that. Some people are into that. Some people are like, oh, you can do whatever you want. Give me a Chanel purse. That's being bought. Unfortunately, I'm not, I don't think that's right, personally. Oh, I'm playing with my buttons because I'm fidgeting and it's hot. I don't want to be wearing this shirt, but people like you will insinuate something else because you can't listen to anything I'm talking about and uh, that's that's probably because of corn on the internet and you believe everything is corn now because you can't see anything throughout a lens of corn because uh, you have brain rot that'd be my assumption personally right but I don't know you so I could be wrong I'm sorry, that was mean. <laughs> it's true, though. Sometimes you got to be true. Like, I can't even wear a sports bra, and it's like 100 degrees out, because I just know how people are going to be on here, and I don't want to deal with it. And I get it. I've seen some of those videos, but, like, let's be so for real. I'm not doing those things. Right. I'm not holding a vegetable in front of the screen. I'm not playing with clay in a weird way. I'm drinking coffee. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Let's be so for real. So for real. Okay. Why am I just like, I'm just like a grandma, number one. Do not confuse the two. Number two, this is my child. Okay, it's me. That's me. <laughs> my grandma had a charm picture of me. <laughs> she had it of like everyone. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm the favorite. But like she had it everyone. I think my aunt got it for her. But yeah, I wear this. Um... To honor her and me. <laughs> no, I was not an atheist. I just was not public about my beliefs because I know how people are. 
and how judgmental people are. And I don't like to be public about things unless I am supposed to. Some things I think are important to keep sacred. So I would, I mean, the whole time I've been on TikTok, I would debate from the Christian viewpoint. And I would say, you guys don't know my beliefs, but it was pretty obvious if you understood the way I would debate things. And if you heard the way I was talking about things that I believed in Jesus, because I knew more about him than any other religion, even being Jewish, I don't know much about the Jewish religion and faith, except for what is in the Bible, which is not the full faith. I know about the history and I know about what we celebrate uh, and the cultural aspects, but I didn't know much about the traditional faith aspects. So if you pay attention to people, they will tell you who they are, even if they don't blatantly announce it to the world. Dolly, why? Please elaborate. I would like to hear your argument as to how I'm not intelligent because I have my own belief system outside of what you think I should believe. Wouldn't I be unintelligent if I just agreed with you and did what you said? Whoa. Have you read the Bible? Do you know what Jesus stands for? Or do you know how man uses the Bible to harm others? Which is not what Jesus did because man is not God. Can you guys hear that? Is that like gross? You got it. <laughs> Erica, you know what else I love is that like your name is Erica and my name is Erica. Thank you, Dolly. You're contributing so much to this conversation. You are a valuable asset to society and I'm so thankful for you. Is there anything I would like to do differently in my next relationship? Um, what I would like to do is I would like to find somebody who is really rooted in their faith and goes to God above all else. That's what I would like. I've never, even my first boyfriend, he was trying to get there and we were both trying to get there, but we were definitely under attack. I think that was because, I don't know. I don't, I think that's because we had something pretty powerful and then we didn't because we both weren't rooted in our faith. So sometimes that's how things work out. But I think it would be really nice to find somebody who leads with the heart of Jesus and um, not self-focused and not self-worshipping because that never really works out well. Dolly, you seem to be obsessed with me. That's crazy. Thank you. Everyone's always wrong in something, right? Um, I'm sure I've been wrong and I don't remember them because typically what I do is when I'm wrong, I will make up for it immediately. I learn from it immediately and then I let it go, right? You shouldn't hold on to when you're wrong, but everyone's wrong at some point. You have to be able to reflect in the moment though. Yeah, Dolly, you don't like me very much because if you liked me, you wouldn't talk to me in the way that you are. Um, you also do not follow me. So unfortunately for you, I can see you through my phone. If you liked me, you would respect my faith. You would respect my belief system because you would know that I respect you, right? Uh, but you didn't do that. You came in, you called me names. So that just represents you and that's fine. But don't act as if that's not who you are, right? I think you need to be with somebody who has matching belief systems. I'll tell you the people I've dated who did not 
believe in God or, I mean, my last boyfriend is the guy who led me into new age. So I would say that was the worst thing that ever happened to me. And, um, he was, oh my gosh, the, the, our relationship looking back on it. Oh my gosh. It was like sadistic. It was disgusting. And I thought it was love. And he was an atheist. Definitely. I don't know if he is now. I hope he's changed. I hope he's evolved. But I think, I think it's really important to make sure that you have the same views. You can't be too tolerant. I was too tolerant for too long, I think. Yeah, he was definitely very self-focused. He was very, um, he wanted everyone and everything. He couldn't keep his eyes on anything. 